We are called to give honor where honor is due, and so it is fitting that we're here today to honor a friend. He's called a number of things, you know, father, husband, friend, chairman. Uh, for me, I was privileged enough to be able to call him a dear friend. Some have classified it as an unexpected friendship. But for those of us that know Elijah, it's not unexpected or surprising. Not only is he a quality man, we were able to share a number of personal stories and intimate secrets that uh, Elijah never shared with anyone because he was a man of his word. And he said he never would. And yet, uh, through the tears of the past few days, I'm reminded of uh, one particular conversation because of who Elijah is. You know, he had a smile that would consume his whole face. You know that. But he also had eyes that would pierce through anybody that was standing in his way. And I, he reminded him not too long ago of a quip that he made. He said that Daryl Issa was going to make him famous. And I reminded him that he is not defined by other people. He's defined by the character of his heart, the honesty of his dialogue, and the man that the man that we will miss. Um, scripture talks about, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So Elijah has left his tent to go to a mansion, a better place. Perhaps this place in this country would be better served with a few more unexpected friendships. I know I've been blessed by one. God bless you.